Hello Aries, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Aries, today we're going to focus on your energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Aries currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the Page of Swords. We got the Empress. And then we also have the Four of Wands. I do want to clarify the Empress. I do believe that you are, I mean, I'm sorry. I want to clarify the Page of Swords. I do believe that you are the Page of Swords and all this, but just keep in mind, you might find yourself resonating with this Empress in particular. So however it resonates, but for the sake of the reading, I'm just going to go ahead and say that you're this Page of Swords, okay? It kind of looks like you have your eyes dead set here on this Empress in particular. Whoever this Empress is, they might live alone. This person might even own their own business because I'm definitely getting that as well but I'm looking at a very strong and independent energy right here um you know somebody who's very responsible somebody who's very mature especially for their age somebody who also has a lot going for themselves I keep wanting to say somebody who's very very independent very very independent I feel like this person that you have your eyes dead set on um they don't typically like to rely on absolutely anyone for absolutely anything I'm also kind of getting that off of this empress tell me more about the page of swords we have the two of pentacles we got the four of pentacles and then we also have the tower out here you know what's interesting is that i feel like you want to take action in this empress direction but there's something that's currently holding you back from doing so and i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you already kind of experienced the tower moment here with this empress so this tower it could represent a breakup it could represent a divorce it could represent like a really big fight slash argument that transpired between you and this person it ultimately changed your relationship with this person forever but not necessarily changed it for the better i would say it not basically changed it for the worse uh so due to this tower moment maybe you guys are not even on speaking terms right now but i feel like that's what's currently holding you back from like re Reaching out to them you know this is kind of like an overall energy of you just kind of choosing to kind of um admire this person from afar watch this person from afar wanting to get close to them wanting to extend yourself to them but at the same exact time forcing yourself to not do so but it has a lot to do with this tower moment that already occurred here between you and this person all right let's look at this empress how does this empress currently view this relationship Okay, so we do have the Three of Pentacles, we got the Seven of Wands, and then we also have the Emperor. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Cups, we also have the uh, Six of Swords, and then we also have the King of Pentacles, okay, as well as the Queen of Wands. Um, Aries, Aries, I kind of feel like this person in particular, this empress that you have your eyes dead set on, this empress that you want to extend yourself to, I feel like they're currently involved here with someone, okay? They're definitely involved with somebody that is definitely a true pair to them. Uh, they're basically dealing with somebody of their caliber, somebody who brings just as much to the table as they do. They have a lot in common with one another, you know, things of that nature, but it kind of looks like this person's currently romantically involved here um, with someone. Whoever this someone is that they currently find themselves romantically involved with, it's somebody... It's somebody who has definitely had a hard time building and establishing the relationship that they truly want and desire here with this empress uh, for whatever reason. And I really want to look a little bit more into the seven of wands just to kind of see what else I can get. But with the two of cups and the six of swords, you know, that's kind of telling me that this emperor is far more open and receptive to this connection than this empress is um for whatever reason i feel like this empress is very guarded towards this emperor um i also kind of feel like they have a very difficult time you know lowering their guard down letting them in fully you know things of that nature but let's look at the seven of wands okay we have temperance we got the five of cups and then we also have the king of swords I kind of feel like the main reason why this empress struggles with fully letting this person in or anyone at that has a lot to do with the fact that in the past, you know, there was somebody that they were connecting with that they were very open 
and honest with that they didn't have you know their walls up with um and unfortunately you know that person that they were dealing with really did hurt them and really really did disappoint them and it kind of looks like there's still a lot of peace that they have to make uh in regards to their experience with this person that they were dealing with prior to obviously meeting um this emperor so i kind of feel like the main reason why this empress is guarded the main reason why this empress has a very difficult time letting this person in has a lot to do with this person's past and very little to do with the person that they're currently connecting with now there is a huge possibility that the reason why this person and i'm not saying this to oh aries look at what you did to this empress over here no i'm not saying all that um what i what i will say is this there is a huge possibility that the reason why they're having a very difficult time being open and receptive to this connection and lowering their guard down and trusting this person and letting this person in fully could have a lot to do with their experience with you that they haven't necessarily fully healed from, okay? For some of you, you might have Aquarius within your chart, you might have Sagittarius within your chart or Scorpio within your chart, okay? Um, let's keep going, let's see what else we can get. I don't feel like you're consciously aware uh, that this Empress is currently romantically involved with someone. You are looking at this Empress as some Somebody who is kind of harnessing nine of pentacles energy uh so nine of pentacles energy it's a very independent energy um it's also considered a single energy a lot of you are under the impression that this empress is single and that they're not currently romantically involved with anybody um which is kind of obviously making me feel like you're not consciously aware that there is an emperor in the equation how does aries currently feel okay so we have the Ace of Cups, we got the Nine of Pentacles, and then we also have the Sun. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Swords, we got the Page of Wands, and then we also have the Eight of Swords. So in regards to how you're currently feeling, as far as like you reaching out to this person is concerned, I kind of feel like currently at the moment, you know, you're definitely considering and doing so. However, there's a lot of overthinking here on your behalf. I do want to look a little bit more into the Eight of Swords just to kind of get a rough idea of what else is kind of going on here and what else could very well be preventing you from reaching out to them. We kind of have a rough idea that the reason why you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I should, has a lot to do with this tower moment that already occurred here uh, between you and this person. Now, I feel like this is what you want, okay? Um, what you want is to start over with this Empress. What you want is to... Leave the past in the past and really start fresh with this empress is basically what I'm getting. Again, a lot of you are perceiving this empress as somebody who is currently single, somebody who's currently not romantically involved with absolutely anyone, but because we did get the cards that we got here for this person, um, this person is definitely romantically involved here with someone. Tell me more about the uh, Eight of Swords. To repair a situation uh, between you and this person, we do have the king and the queen of swords. So you guys are definitely soulmates to one another. But anyways, in regards to this eight of swords energy, you know, the more you sit there and really, really think about whether or not you should contact them or not, the more you start to kind of think that they possibly don't want anything to do with you but it has a lot to do with the way things initially came to an end here between you and them in other words a lot of you kind of feel like due to how things ended between you and them the likelihood of them wanting absolutely anything to do with you is at an all-time low that's just basically what you think and that's just basically what you feel not to say that that is true but that's just kind of what you're thinking and how you're feeling um what's also kind of holding you back has a lot to do with the the fear of how they're going to respond and react to you if you do contact them. Are they going to turn around and reject you? Or are they going to be open and receptive to having a conversation here with you? Um, a lot of you fear their response and their reaction towards you reaching out to them. How does this Empress currently feel? Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. We've got the Five of Wands. And then we also have the uh, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So this Empress is definitely making progress, I would say, within their relationship with this Emperor. They go from harnessing Seven of Wands energy to harnessing Five of Wands energy. So that's kind of telling me that this Emperor is doing a very, very good job at 
lowering, I would say, um, this Empress's guard down. I feel like this Emperor knows that this Empress is very, very guarded. I also feel like this Emperor knows that this Empress doesn't fully trust them. So I feel like they're doing a wonderful job at gaining their trust and getting them to lower their guard down. So they are making progress. Don't get me wrong. They're still somewhat guarded, um, but we do kind of see them slowly but surely um, letting their guard down here. I also kind of feel like this Empress needs a lot of reassurance from this Emperor. And I do kind of feel like this Emperor does really reassure this Empress um, quite a bit. And I also kind of feel like that's kind of helping them lower their guard down. But yes, we do see improvement here um, on this Empress's behalf. I wouldn't say, like I said, that they fully let their guard down or anything like that uh, with this Emperor. But I mean, there's progress nonetheless, right? But we have the Ace of Wands to the seven of pentacles this to me is like an energy of this empress really needing reassurance here when it comes down to this path that they're currently walking with this emperor you know this emperor that they're currently connecting with they see a lot of potential with they genuinely do want to continue to build and establish a life here with this person however with the five of wands coming out here it's kind of hard for them to be open and receptive to this emperor and this connection and way things are playing out here between you and but not between you and them, but between this empress um, and this emperor, but it has a lot to do with the fact that they do have a lot of doubts and reservations about them, but I will say they are definitely making progress within their relationship with this person. What actions will this empress take towards Aries or moving forward? Yeah, a lot of progress here. I mean, seven of wands, look at this like transition here. Look at that. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of progress right there. I mean, they go from the seven of wands to the five of wands, which is them slowly but surely letting their guard down. Still kind of needing a little bit re reassurance here uh, from this em from this emperor from time to time. But with the three of wands, that's kind of telling me that they're going to reach a point within their marriage or their relationship with this person where they're going to find themselves very open and very very receptive uh, towards this emperor. I don't see them feeling the need that they have to be guarded. I don't see them feeling the need that they need reassurance from this Empress. So, you know, in the end, I do, I do believe that this Empress will make a lot of progress. I also believe that there's going to come a point in time where they will be so open and receptive to this connection. Um, and, and they'll be more willing uh, to manifest and create the life that they truly want and desire here with this person. Now, again, I don't feel like you are consciously aware that this Empress is currently dealing with this Empress. I don't feel like you're consciously aware of that, um, but they definitely are. What actions will Aries take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. We have the nine of cups. We also have the eight of wands. And then we also have the three of pentacles. I want to double check on this nine of cups energy because the, the moment that I saw this nine of cups energy, the first thing that came to my mind was liquid courage. Um, for some of you, you might decide to contact this empress uh, when, you, when you've had a few drinks in your system. I am definitely getting that uh, for some of you out there. Tell me more about the nine of cups. I guess just to kind of knock off the edge, right? Uh, but we have the Eight of Cups. We got the Ace of Wands to the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a huge possibility, Aries, that you might decide to contact this Empress uh, when you're under, you know, some liquid courage. Because right now, it doesn't look like you... How do I say this? As much as you may want to contact them, I feel like what's currently holding you back has a lot to do with you feeling like they don't want absolutely anything to do with you. And that's what's currently holding you back. It's not that you don't want to contact them because you definitely do. You just have your reasons as to why you feel like you shouldn't. But I feel like there's going to come a point in time, dude, where you're going to find it within you to reach out to them because I do see you reaching out to them. I'm kind of curious how this Empress is going to respond and react towards receiving communication here from you. How is this Empress going to respond and react to Aries reaching out to them? This to me kind of feels like an energy of like, how do I say this? Like small talk, like, hey, like, how have you been? Long time no see. Like, we should totally get together and like have a drink and, you know, things like that. How is this Empress going to respond and react? All right. We have the Six of Swords. We also have the Moon. That's kind of telling me that this person is definitely not going to see all of this coming. 
I feel like this person is so lost in their own world and consumed by their own world and what's going on here between them and this emperor that they're definitely not going to see this coming from you. Double confirmation that this person currently at the moment is either married, engaged, or in a committed relationship here with someone or they're working towards that. So I have more about the moon. We have the four of swords, we got the four of wands, and then we also have the hermit. Yeah, this, this person, this empress over here, they're so lost and consumed by their relationship with this person. They're so lost and consumed by their own world. Um, then when you do decide to reach out to them, it's going to catch them off guard. It's definitely going to catch them off guard. All right, let's see what else we can get here. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Justice card. And then we also have the Page of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Swords. Mm. With the Queen of Pentacles. You guys are showing up as a true pair yet again. And then we also have the Five of Swords. And then we have the uh, Page of Swords. So let's talk and don't get mad about what I'm about to say, okay? We are going based off of this Empress and how they're currently viewing this entire situation with you. When they do receive communication here from you, it will catch them off guard. Yes. However, I don't feel like they're going to be too happy to hear from you. And here's why. It kind of looks like you and this person left things on a really bad note with one another. Okay. I also feel like throughout the course of their involvement with you, Aries, they had a very, very difficult time trusting you. Very difficult time trusting you. Um, they didn't necessarily feel valued or appreciated by you. I'm also kind of getting that as well. With the Seven of Swords to the Five of Swords, you could have definitely done something to leave a bad taste in this person's mouth. So maybe you lied to this person about something. Maybe you did something or said something um, to really hurt this person and disappoint this person. But point is, is that I don't feel like they're going to be too happy to hear from you. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. When you do reach out to them... They might respond back to you with a boatload of attitude, straight up, okay? And it's mainly because, it's mainly because whatever it is that you did, whatever caused this tower moment here between you and them, it left a really bad taste in this person's mouth. Now, with the King of Pentacles to the Justice card to the Page of Pentacles, yes, this is you reaching out to them. Yes, this is you wanting to make things right here with them. Yes, this is you wanting to talk about what happened here um, and own up to whatever it is that you may have said and or did to leave this person, you know, feeling, you know, the way that they currently feel. Um, I do see you owning up to it. I do see you apologizing. I do see you doing everything that you possibly can on your end to make things right here with this person. Okay, but just just know this, okay? What you're aiming for has a lot to do with you getting back with them. What you're aiming for has a lot to do with you wanting to start over with them. That's what you're aiming for here. However, you just have to kind of be mindful, Aries, that this person, although I don't feel like you're consciously aware of this, this person is definitely romantically involved here with someone without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. This person is definitely romantically involved here with someone. There's just no way in hell that they're not, is basically what I'm trying to say. They're either working towards a relationship here with someone, they're already in a relationship here with someone, they're already engaged, or they're married. Either which way, they're romantically involved here with someone. I just kind of feel like, for whatever reason, you're under the impression that they're single. So like, I don't know, like maybe the reason why you're under this impression is because, I don't know, let's say you go to this person's social media account and you don't see pictures of them and their significant other, right? So that could, you know, cause you to assume that, okay, well, this must mean that they're single because, well, I mean, I don't see pictures of them and their significant other on social media. So that must mean that they're probably single. Um, maybe that's what's happening here. That's definitely a possibility, but um Without a shadow of a doubt, they're definitely romantically involved with someone. Um, also, too, this person comes off to me as like a very private person, um, especially with the hermit coming out here to the four of wands, to the four of swords. They do kind of come off to me as somebody who likes to just kind of keep to themselves, mind their own business, and just kind of focus on them and what they got going on within their life. Um, but they also, like I said, come off to me as like a very, very private person. What's going to happen between Aries and this person and this empress? We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ten of Swords, and then we also have the, uh, listen, dude, listen. You might be slightly older than this person, by the way. 
Remember when I said that the reason why they have a very difficult time letting their guard down has a lot to do with a specific connection that they were in that really did hurt them, that really did affect them? I do kind of feel like it could have a lot to do with their experience with you. Um, so just know that when... <sighs> Just know when you do reach out to them, they may not be too happy about it. They might respond back to you with a boatload of attitude like, yo, what do you want? Why are you calling me right now? Why are you texting me right now? How can I help you? Um, you know, things like that. Um, and, I, and I kind of feel like it's because they know that the reason why they are currently experiencing a difficult time letting this emperor in has a lot to do with their experience with you. And it's something that they still fully haven't necessarily gotten over. You know what I mean? It, it, it's taking this person a while to kind of get over everything that happened here between you and them and make peace with it on top of that. All right. So with that being said, in regards to what's going to happen here between you and them, um, I do see the two of you having an exchange here with one another. I do see you trying to make things right here with this person and apologize to this person. Um, however, as far as like them letting you back in and the ways you want them to let you back in, there's a possibility, Aries, I'm going to be real with you. There's a possibility that they may, that may not happen considering the fact that they're currently romantically involved with someone, okay? Um, but, I mean, anything could possibly happen, right? I mean, they could always have a, all of a sudden change of heart. That's definitely a possibility. But with the cards that are coming out here for this person, how they feel about this person that they're dealing with, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say that you may not you may not be able to get this person back in the ways that you want to get them back. All right. Um, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.